Holy children, this is your Father in heaven speaking with you now, the I am of all creation, the ruler over all things, the one who loves you beyond all things, the one who controls your days if you allow me to, the one who will heal you from all sickness and disease if only you would trust in me. My children, I understand the fear that is in your hearts at this time. I understand the panic that is overtaking your world. I know how scary it is for you to live in such fallible bodies, in a flesh and blood vessel that doesn't always work in the way that you want it to work. I understand your fear, my children. I understand how difficult it is to always stand in faith, to always be strong and to always be faithful to me in, at all times, to never fear and to never fear. I understand, my children, and I give you concession for these things. I do not judge you harshly if you feel fearful or panicky. I do not judge you harshly if you have anxiety, my children, because your world is such a harsh and uncaring place at this time, and it is so very easy for you to feel anxious about things. But my children, do not forget to turn to me, the Lord, your Lord and your King, your God, your Father, my Holy Spirit, in your times of need. Do not forget that we are here, my children. Do not panic and not turn to me. Do not panic and allow the fear to overwhelm your flesh. My children, even in your worst times of panic, you must turn to your God. You must trust in me in all ways. You must believe that I can heal you of all things and then I will heal you of all things, my children. Nothing is too hard for me. No sickness or disease that you suffer is too hard for me to heal you from. My children, I understand that there's a lot of fear in your world at this time about sicknesses and diseases. But I want you to understand that I am your Lord and your King, that I am master and controller over all things. There is no sickness or disease that can come upon your flesh and overtake you if you believe in me, if you are faithful to me, if you pray to me and ask for the healing power of my Holy Son Jesus to come upon your souls. You will be safe then, my children, for nothing can overtake you. Nothing is greater than your God. Nothing is greater than me, my children. No one can comfort you the way that I comfort you. No one can give you more peace than what I can give you. No one can lift you up in your times of trouble the way that I can. There's really nothing in your world, my children, that can comfort you like I can. They can heal you like I can. I may send you to people and to places to bring you comfort and strength and healing, my children, but make sure that the people that you go to are guided by me. Make sure you're going where I tell you to go and you're not going off in your own will and your own control, for then you'll be walking into the darkness and the fear will overtake you. My children, there's a lot of trickery in your world at this time. The powers that be in your planet are trying to take over your hearts and your souls. They're trying to control you, my children. They will offer you all sorts of cures for all sorts of things, but not all of these cures are right for your flesh. Do not allow them to inject poison into you, my children. Do not allow you to scare you into getting injections of things that contain poisons that can make you sicker. Be very wise, be very sober-minded, and be very vigilant at this time, my children. Do not be foolish. Do not rush in where angels fear to tread. Do not rush into the arms of the world when your God is right here, able to heal you and protect you in all ways. Remember, my children, that I am an omnipotent God, that I am your living God, that I am all power and strength and might, and that I can give you all things and protect you from all things. Nothing the world has can even compare to my glory, my children. Nothing you've ever experienced in your lives to date can ever experience, can ever compare to the experience of your God, to the glory of your God. I'm going to lift you up and I'm going to place you on high places. Those of you who truly believe in me, those of you who have not faltered or fallen by the wayside, those of you who put all your trust and your faith in me, those of you who are meek and mild and humble, those of you who have empathy for other people in your planet, who reach out in kindness for the creatures in your world. I will lift you up at this time, my children. I will give you all good things. 
I will change your situation around. Just when you think you cannot go on any longer, just when you think that it is too much for you to bear, there's so many things around you are hard and there's, you're struggling with them and you're, they're falling down around you, I will lift you up with my mighty hand. All you have to do is call on me, my children. All you have to do is cry out to me in the night. Cry out to me in your pain and your suffering. Cry out to your God for help and healing and I will be there, my children. I will heal you with a swift hand. I will allow my Holy Son, Jesus, to heal you. I will allow you to be washed in his holy blood. Come to me now, my children, on bended knee. Do not deny your God. Do not ignore me. Do not place me away from you at this time, for I am here and I want to help you. I want to be there for you at all times and in all circumstances. I want to guide you away from the things of the world. I want to protect you from the things of the world, my children. Do not be fooled and do not be sucked into their lies. There is a great darkness descended upon your planet, dear ones. There is a great darkness that fills the hearts of man. So many are so lost at this time. So many do not know me. So many do not understand me. So many do not understand my ways. So many do not even believe in my existence. They think that they are so much mightier than I, so much greater than their living God. They do not have any comprehension to the power of their God or the power of creation. They do not know and they do not understand my children. They are blind in all ways to the truth. And these people will be in danger in this time for they will trust, they'll put their trust in the words of man, in the actions of man. They'll put their trust in the ways of the world and they will be deceived. They'll be deceived by blindness. They'll be deceived by the things in your planet that are not right. They'll be deceived by the promises of healing, the promises of riches and power, the promises, the promises that the world is giving to them. They'll be tricked, my children, and then they will fall into trouble and there'll be no one for them to call on. They will not be able to call on their God because they do not believe in me. In their minds, I do not exist. Do you not understand, my children, that if you do not believe in me and you do not think that I exist, that I will not reach out my hand and help you? Because all who call on the name of the Lord will be saved. But you must call, my children. You must call on me in the name of my Holy Son, Jesus, and then you will be saved. You must dedicate some time of each day in talking to me, in prayer, in thanksgiving, in rejoicing, in worship. You must believe, my children, for me to help you. No point saying you don't believe in me and then asking everyone to pray for you. Who on earth do you think that they're praying to if you do not even believe in the existence of your God? You can't do that, my children. That is an abomination to me. To treat me in such a way, to treat me with such disrespect, with such a second-handed, flippant nature is not okay. It is not all right in my sights, my children, and I will not tolerate that behaviour. If you wish to be prayed for, if you wish to pray, then come to me first. Come to me in faith and come to me in obedience. Come to me and repent of your sins and ask to be forgiven. Come to me in the belief of my Holy Son Jesus and all he did for you on the cross of death. You come to me, my children. You come to me first and you surrender your lives into my hands. And then, yes, everybody can pray for you and you can pray for yourselves and your loved ones. But do not make a mockery of your God because I will not tolerate it. If you make a mockery of, my of me, my children, then I will turn my back on you. I will wipe you out of my thoughts, out of my mind, and then the devil will snatch you out of my hands and you'll be lost to me forever. I cannot take in a soul who refuses to believe, who has no faith, who has no love or compassion or empathy, who will not humble themselves before my holy throne. If you are so full of arrogance and pride, my children, then you will be lost. If you really think that you can do so well in your lives now without me, then let's see how you can do in the afterlife without me, because it is not going to be good for you. And this is not what I want for you, my children. I want you to be saved. I want you to be redeemed and reconciled and washed in the holy blood of my son. I want you to be strong, my children, strong in faith of me so then you can come to me and I can take you into my arms at the end of days. 
so I can love you forever, my children, and give you all good things. I do not want your flippant nature. I do not want you turning away from me. I do not want you treating me with disrespect. And I do not want to see you lost to the pits of despair. I do not want to see you wandering around in the earth now so fearful, so full of anxiety, so confused and unsure about what you should do, so fearful of death, thinking that you're just going to end, that one day when your lives end, you'll be nothing. My children, honestly, this is not what your souls long for. Your souls long for peace and your souls long for your God and your souls long for heaven. Your souls long for Jesus. Your souls long for my Holy Spirit to fill them. Do you understand this, my children? You are denying yourselves every day that you don't believe in me. Every day that you walk in that arrogance with that smirk on your face, thinking that you know everything, thinking that nothing can touch you, thinking that your world is perfect and can never never not be perfect. And yet one day, my children, you will go through hardship, you will go through pain and suffering, and then who will you call on? Where will you be if you do not believe in your God? Where will you be if you cannot call on my Holy Son Jesus to save you? Where will you be, my children, in the final hour, when you need someone, when you need comfort and strength from your God, when you need to be transported into the heavenly realms? Where will you be then, my children, when there is nothing but darkness around you and you are taken into the seat of judgment? Do you not understand, my children? You better open up your eyes and your minds now because this is it. This is it, my children. When the times end, then you will have no other choice. There'll be no other choice for salvation. There'll be no other opportunity for you to be saved. You need to be saved now while you're in the earth, on your planet, going about your daily lives. Every single one of you, there's not one soul on this earth that I will not touch, that my Holy Son Jesus will not call upon, that will not have the opportunity to know me and be saved. Every single soul, my children, this is nothing to me. The amount of people on your planet, the amount of souls on your planet is nothing to me. My Holy Son Jesus can teach every single one of you. He can reach out to every one of you. He can touch every one of you. He can save every one of you. My Holy Spirit can fill every one of you and teach you all things and guide you in all ways. When that opportunity comes, do not deny me, my children. Do not deny my Holy Son Jesus. Do not walk away because then you walk into the abyss. You walk into the darkness. When I call you, you come. You come for your own good, my children, because I'm trying to call you into safety. I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm not trying to control you. I'm not trying to manipulate you. I'm not trying to cause you pain or suffering, and I'm not trying to put you in a place of darkness and pain and suffering. I'm calling you into the light, my children. I'm calling you into love. I'm calling you into peace and hope and joy and eternal rest eternal contentment, eternal joy forever. This is what I want for you, my children. I want to open up the the vistas of heaven for you to see. I want to give you everything that your hearts have ever desired, that your souls long for. I want to fill in those empty places within you, my children. I want to bless you abundantly in all ways and give you all good things. Stop acting as if I'm a nasty God. Stop acting as if I've got that I haven't got your best interests at heart. Stop acting in that way, my children, because you're being brainwashed by the lies of the world. If you believe those things, then it's because the world has told you those things. Do you not know that I'm a God of love and compassion, of grace and mercy, and that I love you so very much that I've created for you a whole new world, a new heavens and a new earth that will be there for you, my children, when your time on the earth is done. And all I'm trying to do is get you to come back into my arms. My children, you would never have lost me if you had not sinned in the first place, if you had not believed the lies of the devil and fallen into sin in the very beginning, the very first of my creation. But you did sin, my children. The spirit of man has sinned against me. And so now you've had to twirl the ground of your earth. You've had to suffer on your planet. You've had to be refined and turned once again to your God. You've had to be washed clean of your sin by the holy blood of my son Jesus. You've had to be sanctified and purified in me, my children. So then you can come back to me now. You can come back to me now and enter through the gates of heaven. My children, I am here for you always. I will never leave you or forsake you. I will give you all good things. I'll take you into my arms. I'll lift you up in the palm of my hand and I'll shelter you under my mighty wings. 
I'll do all things for you, my children. I'll restore your souls to all peace. I'll renew your minds by the word of God. I'll give you a heart of rejoicing, a spirit of joy. I'll bring to you all good things, my children. I'll take away your pain and your sorrow. I'll wipe every tear from your eyes. And I'll give you your rest and your peace that you long for so much. My children, do not be fooled by the lies of the devil. Do not think that, the, that hell is a place of fun, of gambling and drinking and parties, sexual debauchery, that you're going to have a good time there because there's nothing like that, my children. That is not what hell is like. Hell is darkness. Hell is emptiness. Hell is despair. Hell is weeping and gnashing of teeth. Hell is eternal loneliness and separation from your God. This is not what I want for you, my children. Do not go there. Do not be fooled. Do not be tricked by the lies of the world because what they're saying is not true, my children. The picture that they're painting for you is not true. This is not what hell is like. Hell is not a party place. You're not going to see your friends there. You're not going to have a good time there. You'll be forever tormented because you'll be separated from me and your souls will know what has happened and you'll be so sad, my children, and you'll long for heaven for all eternity. Please do not let this happen to you, my children. This is not what I want for you. I want you back in my arms. I want you back with where you belong in my heavenly realms so I can give you all good things, comfort you and give you strength and peace for the rest of your days upon the earth and an eternity of joy and peace in heaven. This is my wish for you, my children. This is what I want for you now and forevermore. I love you, my children. I love you and I will never leave you or forsake you. I will never let you down. Heed my words now. Do not fall by the wayside. Do not be foolish, my children, in what you do. Do not turn away from my promises, my children. Do not fear. Do not let fear overwhelm you. Remember to always try to put your faith above fear. Remember that no matter what's going on in your bodies, no matter what's going on in the world around you, just remember to put faith over fear. I'm not judging you, my children, and I'm not angry with you. I understand when you get fearful because your world is a scary place and your bodies, your flesh and blood bodies, are scary places to live in. But in faith, all things can be healed. In faith, you can be protected. In faith, I will restore you to all peace and strength and joy. In the name of my Holy Son, Jesus, I promise these things to you, my children. I am with you now and I will be with you forevermore. I love you, my children. Now and to the ends of eternity, your Father, who art in heaven, amen.